Here are 17 niche home services that are highly searched but have a low amount of competition. I looked at each one of these niches to make sure that there was a high enough search volume as well as look to see how many people were actually offering this specific service. So let's jump into 17 of my favorite low competition niche home services that you can start. Now niche number one is going to be fall proofing, helping seniors make it so that their home is fall proof and safe. Now the United States population is aging dramatically and there is a large number of elderly individuals with services that aren't being met. Fall proofing is one of these. They should add grab bars here. They should move this rug, ramps, even chair lifts upstairs. There is enough certain keywords that are being searched that there are people looking for it. So senior proof, senior proofing your home, senior proof your home, elderly proof your home. KD green number there is a keyword difficulty. All of them are mostly green, which means they are easy to rank for. Now I searched for senior proofing, fall proofing companies. I really couldn't find anything. The only thing I found was seniorproof.com and their only location is throughout Florida. It leaves it wide open for you to open this somewhere else and offer a fall proofing service for seniors. Now, number two on the opposite end of the spectrum is baby proofing, either a baby proofing consultant or actually going in and baby proofing someone's home. A lot of new parents don't really understand what they need and what they need to do to make sure their house is safe for their new child. This is where they call you, you come in, you put up baby gates, you attach dressers to walls, you put in outlet covers, plugs. You would have to be versed on what exactly baby proofing entailed and what exactly you needed to do to each home. Once you got the basics down, it would be basically the same thing in every home, making sure that you are making everything safe, do most of it with just a drill and a hammer. Now a quick search on Ahrefs of common baby proofing terms shows that it's very low competition, uh, baby proofing business, baby proofing service, child proofing services, professional baby proofing. But there's a lot of low competition keywords that you could rank for. One of the only companies I could find doing this was babysafehomes.com. They've got a couple franchises in different areas, but certainly nothing that you can't compete against. There is very minimal amount of competition, very minimal amount of people actually targeting this. When I looked on Google, the top search was a Weebly site that had very low domain rank that would be easy to outrank. It doesn't take much expertise or that many skills. A standard handyman or someone who knows how to use a drill and understands baby proofing could do this. Number three, bulldozer rentals. You could buy a bulldozer and then rent it out. Uh, looks like a lot of these places will rent out anywhere from $1,000 to $2,000 to use it for a week. So you can get your money back pretty quick and then everything beyond on that is profit. Now a quick search on Ahrefs shows that bulldozer rental is four in easy and 3.2 thousand in volume. So it's a very low competition keywords. Mini bulldozer renter, bulldozer rental cost, uh, bulldozer rental near me, bulldozer rental price. They're all in the green and very low competition. So it's definitely something that you could go after and focus on in the beginning. And it's something that you could expand on later. And when I did look on Google for bulldozer rental specifically, there was only a few companies and they didn't have great reviews. So that's promising to show that your Google My Business listing has pretty low competition as well. And no one is actually going strictly after bulldozer rental. There's Sunbelt rentals, tool and truck rental. So if you just went after your entire site and listing towards bulldozer rentals, you could show up very targeted above a lot of these other companies that are just doing general tool rental. And then eventually you could add more tools down the road. So I'm just gonna run through the rest of these uh, niche services ideas a little bit quicker. By now you get the idea of how I'm going through and finding that each of these is high search volume, but low competition. So the next one is stump removal, uh, rather than going after all sorts of landscaping or tree services, just going after stump removal and then expanding from there. Bed bug removal, go in, there's a few different ways to remove bed bugs. You can either do heat treatment or you can go in and spot treat. It takes a little bit more money up front, but it is a very low competition service and it's very high ticket. At home nurses, there are a few at home nurse companies Companies that are just major corporations, you could be a more local, personalized, at-home nurse service, and it would be very easy to set yourself apart. This would be a great option for any nurse who works in the nursing industry but wants to go off and have their own business. An at-home nursing service would be a great business to start. Concrete removal, anyone who does junk removal or does any sort of construction, if you wanna focus just on concrete removal, this is a highly searched service. It's high ticket and low competition, so it would be a great way to start out if you're in the construction industry or junk removal industry, start out with 
concrete removal, and then expand from there. Mobile pet groomers, there's a lot of mobile pet groomers out there and it's not necessarily low competition, but all of them are extremely booked up. Everybody who's doing mobile pet grooming has more business than they can handle. If you try to call a mobile pet groomer, chances are they won't call you back or they'll tell you they aren't taking any more business. This means that there's a lot of opportunity for more pet groomers to come out there and start offering mobile pet grooming services. Mobile car mechanic. Now mobile car mechanic is highly searched, but there's not that many people out there who are willing to come to your house and do any sort of mobile mechanic services. So this is a great opportunity if you know how to fix cars or if you want to contract someone out for your business who can go and fix cars. If you work at a car shop, this would be a great way to go out on your own and start your own business with a mobile mechanic shop. Home energy auditor. Now this one was very interesting. There is very low competition for home energy auditors, someone who will come in and analyze how you're using energy in your home and how you could be more efficient. There is very high search volume and very low competition. So this would be a great industry to get into. If you know anything about that, you could offer this service and help people figure out how they could have their home be more energy efficient. Now, elevator repair service takes some skills, understanding how to repair an elevator, which I don't know how to do, but it is also very low competition and very high ticket. It's mostly commercial buildings. Uh, so you would have commercial contracts, which means you would probably be on a regular basis inspecting elevators and fixing them when anything went wrong but the competition is very low. If you either partner with someone who knows how to fix elevators, or if you wanna learn how to do that or already know how to do it, it's a great option for a very low competition and high ticket niche service. Mattress cleaning. There's a lot of people who will clean your rugs, who will clean your house, who will clean everything else, but there is actually a lot of people looking for someone to clean their mattress or how to clean a mattress. And there's not many people targeting just mattress cleaning specifically. So you can come in, there's one company that on Shark Tank called Clean Sleep and they would actually, they had a mobile device that cleaned mattresses. You don't need that. You can just go in with the right tools, come in and clean someone's mattress and it, it would be a medium ticket price. So you'd probably charge anywhere from $100 to $300 to clean their mattress. Maybe you would come in and do all their mattresses, but you could also get on a sort of subscription service where you came in once a quarter and clean their mattresses. There are a lot of things that get on our mattresses that people aren't really aware of. Dust mites, mold. Uh, so you want to make sure you're cleaning your mattress regularly and it would be a great way to sell someone on a consistent service every quarter. It's something that no one is really marketing themselves towards. Generator installation. There's a lot of electricians out there, not many people targeting just generator installation. You can help people set up a generator in their home. And if you're an electrician, this could be a way to get started with a specific niche that no one's really targeting. And then you could expand later into full on electrical services, or you could actually hire out a contractor who did the electrical work for you for the generator. And you were just the marketing arm as a generator installation company and you had electricians as contractors. Oriental rug cleaning. Now there's a lot of people that are doing rug and carpet cleaning, but there's a lot of search for oriental rug cleaning. Now these are higher ticket rugs that people want someone to be very careful with who knows exactly how to clean a nice oriental rug. So if you know how to do that and you wanna market yourself as a professional oriental rug cleaner, this is a high searched service that is low competition. It would take some materials figuring out how to deep clean an oriental rug, but it is definitely a service that people are looking for that isn't very high competition. Next one is tent rentals. Um, you can buy a big party tent and there are people out there looking to rent it. There's a lot of party rental companies out there, but no one really focusing solely on tent rentals. So if you wanted to start out with just a tent rental company, you can buy a couple tents, start renting them out. And as you got busier, you could buy a few more. Not really much cost upfront and definitely a lot of people searching for it with low amount of businesses targeting that exact keyword. And number 17 would be a at-home meditation instructor or meditation consultant that would help you with your meditation. Now this is a niche market that you could have regular subscription with somebody on a regular basis, similar to a personal trainer, but it's very low competition and there's actually a good amount of people looking for it. I hope that list got your wheels turning on some ideas for niche services that you may be able to start in your area. You can use a tool like Ahrefs or SEMrush to see keyword competition. They do cost a decent amount of money. So you can also just always look on Google and see what pops up in your area. See how many reviews each of those companies have. If you find a lot of companies that don't have that many reviews or not that many listings that show up, it's probably an area that is low competition. If you're interested in more finding more niches, you can also go to a site like Thumbtack or Angie's List 
and just scroll through. It'll show you popular services in your area. This can just give you some ideas of what people are having done at their homes and see if you can find any niches. Um, it'll give you a whole list, long distance movers, bed bugs, party bus, deck and porch build. So it'll give you a, a whole bunch of different niches. And then you can go and just see how, how competitive they are in your area. I'm sure you'll find some that people aren't directly targeting that you can target and show up pretty easily in the beginning. I hope this was helpful. I hope it got your wheels turning. I hope you came up with maybe some niche services that you could start in your area. Like and subscribe for more of this type of content and we'll see you in the next one.